Hey, Shalom. We are back. We are starting our uh, lesson number two of our beginners uh, biblical Hebrew class. Um, we are going to get right into the situation here um, with our beginner class. All right. Okay. So we got our little um, review. The first letter of the olive bait is Aleph, and it is silent. So we have some little practice writing here. If nobody didn't do their little practices uh, before, Today, you have a opportunity to bust out a couple Alephs, Aleph, again, from last week. Practice, if you can practice, you know, practice a couple Alephs. We have the bait. Remember, the bait has the Dagesh. Get you a couple practices in on, on the bait. If my mouse was a pen, you could see it drawing something. <laughs> but it's not. Okay, and the vet, of course, is the same thing without the dagesh. So you want to practice, go ahead and practice that a couple of times. You should familiarize yourself with it. We also did the vowels. Who can remember what the vowel sound that makes the ah sound, what it's called actually? We see what it looks like. Who remembers what it called, what it's called? Anybody? The Kamat. Okay, yes, this is the kamats here, the T looking thing. And the top is the line looking thing. And they both make the same sound, the ah sound. Right? So we also have some practice from last week. Here, let's just read maybe these last two lines for our. Uh, for our beginner students here. Uh, we'll just go through this. What's what so, one you, uh, somebody want to read this line number two right here? Okay. Ba Ba Ab Abba Abba yeah. Abba Bob. Hold on. That's Bob. This right? one? This one is uh you're half, right? Is it Baba? Baba, yeah. Okay. Ab. Mm-hmm. Bob. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Yeah. ah. Well, that's just ah, remember, because there's no okay. okay, there's no vowel there. Okay. Okay, so the first, the first, um, and number three, the first one with the bet, with the dot and the T, the T is a vowel, and, and the second letter is the Aleph with a vowel. So how would I say that? Ba ah. Ba ah. Ba ah. Ah. Okay, I'm on the third one from the right. Number three. Okay, the 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 Arab has a vowel, so does that all vowel because 
The next letter underneath it would be that D. It doesn't have a dot. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how you would say that. Uh, 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 yeah, that's perfect. Uh, the first one would be that that the so this would be va av va av av so vet so you would just get you would just say the letter v sound you would just say va va so both of those would make va is, is that uh, what you're yeah, saying? First, yeah, the first and the last is a is a V sound. So and so so this would be this would say va av, va av, va av, va av, va av, va av. Yeah, va av, va av, va av. And then, uh, the fifth one would be ah. Uh, well, this is the same thing, right? So this is going to be ah, uh, ah, uh, of. Uh, yeah, uh, of. Uh, ah, uh, 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 You're not going to say you. This is really just since this is the last letter here. You'll mm -hmm. it'll like carry out from the from the next one, right? So you'll yeah. These ones with the vowels, you'll pronounce those. You'll say ah, ah, and since that's the last letter, you'll kind of finish off the word with that with that v sound. So it's ah, of, just like this one was ba of, ah, of. The v in there. Well, the v goes there, but but it's just it's kind of like a um. It's like if you just like if you was gonna say boat, mm -hmm. you wanna say you wouldn't be like bo t, you know what I mean? You would say boat, where you're kind of finishing off the word with that letter, but it's not like um, I don't know how to describe it in it terms end of in a vowel. the yeah. word doesn't end in a vowel; it ends in a consonant. Right? Yeah, so if you're gonna use it kind of like as a consonant, it's mm -hmm. just like the um. You know, just like an ending letter, right? Like if I was going to say um, uh, dog, you want to say dog G, you would say dog. You're kind of just ending off the word with that sound that the letter makes. So this one is ah, of. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, uh. So you just have to remember that you're pronouncing these letters with the vowels, and then you're just ending the word with this sound here. You got these on the printouts, and you could go through them, right, and and, and um, practice, um, you know, saying these, first of all, recognizing the letters, but also the sounds that these vowels are making them make. The next one... Is both of them is a vet. I mean, is a vet, mm -hmm. but the first one has a vowel, correct? Yeah. So I would pronounce that uh, ba. Yeah, and then what's this one? Ba -ab. That's the last one. Yeah, mm -hmm. ba ab. Okay, right. So the third letter, the third letter of the Hebrew Aleph that is gimel. Gimel. Mm -hmm. So the gimel makes the G sound. G. It says G. G. Right? Mm -hmm. like the G makes. So this is, so we got how to write it, right? So you get your pencil and you write, oh, you go over and down. And then you make this little leg, this little kickstand here in the middle. Right? So you make your little your little upside down L, and then it got a little kickstand on it. And that's a gimmel. So go ahead and write you a couple gimmels there on your paper. A couple gimmels. I wrote 
I wrote, I wrote like four lines or five lines of each, um, all the way down the hay. Now I got the, um, I need help pronouncing them, and especially with the vowels. Okay, so so we'll 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 go through that right now because we're gonna learn a few vowels right now. So, oh, we got the dialect, the dialect, right? So the dialect makes the D sound, the dialect mm -hmm. makes the D sound, okay? And the dialect, of course, is the little line going across. And then you come over into it just like a little bit, like a little quarter, and then come straight down. The dialect. So you got to make sure you got that little piece hanging off on the side because if you don't, you're making another letter. So you definitely got to have make sure that you have that little overhang on this dialect because if you don't do that, you're definitely making another letter, right? So you don't want to do that. You always want to have that little overhang. Just like at the bottom of the bait. Right, just like the bait. The, it's exactly that. If you don't have that overhang with this dollet mm -hmm. or with that bait, you're literally making another letter. And also make sure that top line is a horizontal line because if it's slanted, then that's a yeah. letter. Too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you could actually make a mistake and make, you could be making two different letters, almost three, because if you make it too short and it don't overhang, there's yet another another letter that you're making. And if it's if your line goes <laughs> below the line, right? If it's too long, well, yeah, if your it's, vertical line yeah. is too long, it's another letter. Right. There's there's like five mistakes that you can make when you make a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> I know when I send her a picture, when I send her a picture on the keyboard, I, I thought it was the dollar, but it was the rush. Right, yeah, it's hard to it's hard to recognize them, especially on those little keyboards. Okay, so okay, so that's the dollar, right? The dollar, the D. Sure oh, and then now we have the hay, the hay, right? So the hay, mm -hmm. the H sound, just to make the H sound it says a right sound. And when it's at the end of the word and it's not followed by a vowel, it's silent, right? So the hey is silent at the end of a word. Okay, so this is how you write it. You write it with by making this line across and coming down. Oh, what happened? Actually, oh, here we go. And then you have this little piece that's not connected. And remember, you can't connect it because if you do, you'll be making another letter, right? So, so it's important with these letters to actually make them like exactly how you're supposed to make them because there's so many um, letters that are kind of, you know, similar and easy to be mistaken for other letters if you don't like make them the way that they should be made and, and distinct from each other, right? And that's why it's good to practice writing them because when you're studying the Torah, you're going to want to write the letters down eventually. And it's just good to be able to write them in a way that you can actually read them. Yeah. And, it, and it's also good for, rec for recognition purposes, right? So, you know, just like anything else, if you if you repeatedly do it, you know, you'll get the hang of it, you know, writing it and knowing what it looks like saying what sound it makes whenever you do it. Okay, so that's the hey. All right, so now we're going to put some vowels with these letters, right, to give them some the different sounds. sounds. So the vowel, um, tsire, tsire, and, and remember, if we learn the names of these vowels, this is a problem that I have. I'll say have, not even had. A problem that I have is remembering the names of these vowels. But when you when you learn the names of the vowels, it helps you 
to know what sound that they make. Right? So this now, a tear ray, a tear ray, these two dots under the word, um, under the letter, make the A sound. Right? So it sounds like say, um, but normally is transliterated as the E O. Which, but but we know that this sound that it's making is a. Okay, so the cire has two forms. Um, however, we will learn this form first and the second form later. Okay, so the cire is two dots under a consonant, right? So under the olive, it just says a, right? Because remember, the olive really is silent. And it makes the sound of the vowel that's under it, right? Mm -hmm. So next we have the bay. And then if it did have a, a dogish, it's a ve. And then if it if it's uh with a gimmel, it's gay, right? And then if it's a dollar, it's day. And then if it's a hay, it is. Hey, right? Okay, so that's again the Tsire. And again, it's important to remember that name because it helps you to remember the sound that it makes. Tsire. Tsire. So that you don't, you're not pronouncing the T then, huh? Well, what you mean? In Tsire? Uh huh. I'm kind of saying, okay, so when we, this this sound here, this ts sound is really like a tsadi. It's a tsadi. it's a t and an s sound kind of mixed tsunami. together. Tsunami, like tsunami. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, like tsunami. Yeah, it's like saying It's a t and an s sound mixed together. I'm pronouncing it, but maybe it's hard to hear it. But it's just it's like they said it's it's. Like like what you say if you say tsitsi, or if you say tirtsa, or if you say tsunami, which is not Hebrew, but it's the same concept of the T and the S sound like kind of coupled together. We didn't get to that letter yet, but but it's the but that's that's what you're hearing me say is Siri. I'm saying the T sound, but it's mixed with the S, they're mixed together. So that's Sir Sir Ray. Sir Ray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, so you want to remember that A part at the end. Though. And it makes the A sound. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You see those two dots. Mm -hmm. So you can see the two dots and it make you think about the T sound and then it's, I don't know how you can remember. You gotta, <laughs> I just tried to make something up, but it just didn't work, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, the next vowel that you learn, that you'll be learning today is the se goal, because the sound that it's getting you to make is that <laughs> eh sound that's in bed. So a se goal is getting you to say that eh sound that's in bed, se. Eh, 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 right? So the Aleph with a sego is eh. And then the Bay, eh, eh, eh. Ed, 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 like for Ed, I guess we do it. Yeah. Ed. Yeah. Eh. Ed. So that, that sego is the vowel. When you add this sego to the vowel, it's going to say eh. So you'll say the letter. You'll say the sound that each letter makes plus that plus that um sego sound, right? So this is ve, like it says there. Ve with the gimel is ge, with the dollar is de, and with the hey is he. You see that? Can I, can I say something? Go ahead. I think and one easy thing that I, I, when I was teaching the kids the vowels that I tried to help them to understand them was that these sounds are kind of related, the eh and the a. 
and you could see that it's it looks almost like how the kamats and the patak looked where you had that line and you had that t you know looking vow and so with the eh group it's dots instead of lines so the ah group of sounds are the lines like the the horizontal line for the patak and the t looking uh shape for the uh kamats and then the eh group of sounds is uh the dots, the two dots that are that kind of correspond with the patak, and the three dots that kind of correspond with the kamats. Mm. If that makes any sense, I don't know. I tried to help my kids. I tried to. Help I my hear kids. what you're saying, but that is kind of um, complicated. It's still complicated. <laughs> I think it is. Sorry, if I complicated. I think the things, best thing sorry. to do is write it down, mm. right? And practice and practice it right. Well, you don't got to write it down because you should have this this um <laughs> this printout here. Okay, so that's those two vowels. So now we're gonna put those things into practice. <laughs> practice. Okay, so let us. Okay, since your mic is already on, let me hear you, mother. Do. This first line here. <laughs> All right. Line here. All right. You got you got to be patient with me. Okay. We'll see All right. Um, this, this is a this is a olive with with the two dots. A. Yep. A. Mm -hmm. And the next one would be that. Here, over here, this is the dollet. With the with the a sounding vowel, so that would say day day. Yes, exactly. So this is the hey. This is here is the hey with the a sounding vowel. So that would say what? Hey. Exactly. And so this is the gimel. With the ah sounding vowel, so that would say ga. Yeah, ga. ga. That. This number two line. Yeah, I'll try. Good. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, ba. Okay, get by, yeah. Vada. Vada. Mm-hmm. Very good. Hey day. Perfect. A A. A A. Mm -hmm. Ha a. Ha a. Yes, very good. Aga. Aga, yes. Very good. Ha ha. Ha ha, yes. Let's do this number five one here. This number five one is gonna be. Let me give it a let me give it a whirl. Because you know I'm not a professional at this anyway, right? So this is gonna be. De de ga a de ga a. This is gonna say beva. This is gonna say gaha. This right here is hey de hey de va. <laughs> um, this is gonna say here uh, da ag. And this one is uh, be ab, be ab. Mm. Okay. All right. So. Yeah. So you could do some. You got some practices right here, and we're gonna get some some cheat sheets to go with that. Okay, so some vocabulary words um, from the letters that we just learned. Uh, a dollet with a uh, 
with this patak and a gimel is dog, which means fish. Fish. A dog is in Hebrew is a fish. Yeah, a dog in Hebrew <laughs> means fish. Yeah. Um this, this, who could say could somebody say this word here? Haggadah. 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 Right. So when we get that book on Pesach, we got the, oh, it says it right there. The book read during Seder that recounts the Passover is the Haggadah. Um, Abba, we already had Abba, right? And comes which is ba, right? So you now you got these words. So you can practice these words, practice those vowels um, throughout the week so that you can be able to know these, uh, you know, the learning the vowels and then is important because you know once you get all these letters down you know there's going to be just vowels like crazy when it comes time to looking at these things and you know it's it seems kind of um like a huge task just because it's a new thing but um once you get the hang of it um it's you know it helps out immensely but Okay, so we have um, for this last slide, the biblical application, right? So you may not be able to look at this and know what it says, but what you are able to do is recognize certain letters and the vowels that they make. And then since we also have the um, transliteration underneath, you can see like this, for instance, I'll just start off with this one, right? This says he nay, he nay, but you can see how as this over here, which is the nay, the a sound, and this is a noon, which makes the n sound. So we definitely did learn the, the a sound. We just learned that today. So we can see how this a sound is used and then coupled with the Noon, which you didn't learn yet, but it's he nay. And you can see how that hey is silent at the end of the oh, word. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's another thing, right? So the hey is there, but it's just kind of carrying out what came before it. And it don't really, it's not, it's not doing much over there. Um, this is the, uh, what is it, the patak that's giving that ah sound. So that's something you can recognize. Um, you didn't go over the mems yet, but you can see from the transliteration that this thing, whatever this is, is making that ah sound with it, right? So that's the ma. And the hey is silent there as well. Right. You got the same thing again. It says ah. Um, let's see. We have the same thing again over here. Ma is coupled with this other letter, but this is the same thing that you have over here. This this uh patak, I mean, yeah, the patak. So these this biblical application, you're able to see these letters um being used. You might not know what these letters are necessarily, but you can see based on the uh transliteration here, you know, the sounds that they're making, how to how they're being pronounced. Um Akim, you know this word just from saying it, right? Akim is brothers, right? So it looks like this, right? So you have the ah sound, ah, right here. Ah, Kim. What up? Oh, gom, ga, ga. It's right here. You got a lot of them. Ya, right there. Ya. 
Well, you don't know the het, but you have the D right there. Right? So this is good to look at. And then you can also almost learn other letters when you see them with this transliteration here. So if, some, if you was going to read this, it says, Hine Matov Uma Naim Shevet Achim Gam Yachad. This is a nice little exercise for you to actually do. And again, to familiarize yourself with um, the vowels and then also even seeing them with the transliteration, how they're used, um, whether you actually know what that letter is or not, right? What is that word? 